favor. She runs a, a series all over town. She Little Orphan Annie's comedy show. It is at Orphan Guitars in Carroll Gardens. Yeah. Every uh, I'll let her spiel for you. Give it up for the great Ann Van Abt. Yeah, Annie in the city. Comedy show that's bi weekly on Thursdays Woo! at Little, wait, at Orphan Guitars in Carroll Gardens. If you guys want to come out, it's a fun show. Anyway, uh, hey guys, my name's Anne. I'm a comedian. Can you tell by how, like, how much I dressed up for this? Um, I'm filming from the side so I can really see how chubby I've gotten. Uh, you guys, I, um, when I go out, uh, my pronouns are apparently ma'am. <laughs> but they're actually she, her, it, <laughs> and Crystal. And my love language is live, laugh, leave me alone. So it's a miracle that I found love. You guys proud of me? I did it! Uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard dating in New York, and you know, once you catch one, Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, you know, I fell in love. I instantaneously gained the freshman 15. Um, I have a muffin top now that I'm dealing with. Can you guys see it or can you tell? I, I had my jacket zipped up at another thing and I asked somebody if they could tell and they were like, it just looks like you have something in your pocket. And I was like, that's my tummy. <laughs> so, awkward. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty great. Um, you know, usually in New York, what happens with love is I think I'm in love with a guy, but it turns out he's not interested at all. Uh, but he is in love with a girl who's not interested in him at all. And it just keeps going on like that forever, forming a dick caterpillar. Which is also the plot of Midsummer Night Dream. Do you guys know Shakespeare? Or you guys, I feel like you guys are readers here. <laughs> Uh, and when we first started dating, I told my mom that he was uh, ethnically non-monogamous, and she's like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry, and I was like, wait, that's not right. He's ethnically ambiguous. Um, he's 25% black, because I got him off of the black market, or... What? <laughs> I don't know, he said that, I thought it was funny. Um, he's also uh, part Dominican, um, part uh, Spanish, and he's 10% uh, Sephardic, uh, which I like to tell people because it has my favorite word in it. <laughs> you guys, farts never stop being funny, right? Like, even the word is funny. My mom told me that I had to stop telling fart jokes if I was going to meet a man to marry. And I was like, well, my mom doesn't know men very well. <laughs> I say fart all the time. Uh, what else? Uh, so, um, you guys, I, um, I dropped my uh, expensive uh, lipstick in the toilet. I know. Um, but I wore it anyway. <laughs> I washed it off, uh, and, you know, I thought I'd be fine, but um, I started to develop these blisters in my mouth, uh, and then, you know, I popped one, and it was pretty satisfying, uh, and I did give my boyfriend a blowjob. Um, he didn't get a disease, it's fine, uh, but no, so, you guys, uh, there's this TikTok video, yes, I do watch TikTok, I'm on TikTok, Matt. Um, but there's a TikTok, uh, thing, it's like, magnifies things 400 times, okay, so it magnifies ramen noodles, and really up close are crushed bug wings, just, so that's what you guys are eating, um, and then it magnifies monster energy drink 400 times, and there's, like, nothing there, which is insane, right, and then it magnifies toilet water, and there's just like a bunch of bugs floating around in that water, like t teeny tiny bugs. So I'm like, that was in my mouth when I gave my boyfriend. Uh, it just happened. This is a different lipstick than I'm wearing. I, did I say that or did I say it was? I can't remember. I'm, sh I'm saying it because I'm sharing a microphone with other people. Um, I don't want to scare you guys. Um, 
I have so much stuff about being in love, but I know nobody likes to hear about happiness. Um, so, oh, so one thing is, so, you know, I did gain weight. I don't, my fat jeans are now my, they're like too small now, which really sucks. But the other night I was like, no, I'm going to wear my je these jeans. I love these jeans. I'm going to make it work. So I laid down on the bed so I could zip them up all the way. Um, and I was like, and yeah, no liquids tonight, because at the bar they don't have a bed in the bathroom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, I was like, I really feel like I'm a woman from the 1800s. Like, I know how they feel, because I can hardly breathe, you know, because they would wear corsets. You guys remember that? Or... Okay, let's, let's see what I wrote down. Um, I did the muffin top thing. I told you about the lipstick. Oh, okay. So, oh, I guess you already know this, but I wanted you to guys to know that I did fall in love with a human man, um, and, not, and not a plant, which is less celebrated. Um, okay, and then I just have to tell you this one more thing. Okay, so uh, my, my boyfriend and I, we've been dating for like seven months now, um, and he just had his birthday, and I wanted to do something special, um, so I was thinking about giving him a backwards blowjob. <laughs> um, which you do have to be hard for, okay, uh, usually. But basically what it is, the guy like brings it through this way, he has to go on all fours, and then like you have to be back in here, like in this part. And, um, you know, I really wanted to make everything special, so I'll, you know, I read this blog called Bad Girls Blog um, to learn how to do the perfect blow job. So, what you do, it's like step one, these are the instructions, step one, kiss the tip, okay. <laughs> Sounds like a good start. Okay, step two, step two, grab the shaft and the base, okay. Step three, break it apart and see what kind of candy comes out. <laughs> um, I was thinking maybe Skittles, because then I could actually taste the rainbow. Um, but then I was thinking, you know what, maybe too cheesy, right? Maybe, but like, maybe like nerds, because like, the pee hole is like really small and can act like a candy dispenser uh, for the nerds. Um, but my, my lesbian friend, and I don't know if it's important that she's lesbian for this, but she is a little lesbian. She told me that, you know, if I'm going to be back there anyway for the backwards blowjob, I'm going to be really up in his butt. And like he has a big butt, and so I should probably pop some nerds in there um, so, I don't, so I don't taste the poop. Um, guys, my name's Ann Van Ness. <laughs> Give it up for Ann Van Abs, everybody! But before Ann Van Abs, I did not know what a blackboard blowjob was. I'd never heard of that. Follow Ann Van Abs for more great.